All right, all you bike buffs out there, uh, this frame probably looks pretty familiar to you. It is patterned off of the, uh, the Lotus Sport, uh, which is, in my opinion, a really cool design. And that's why I'm gonna try to, uh, to I wouldn't say match it or copy it, because a lot of my own design is in it, but it's patterned off of it, no lie there. So, um, uh, a couple of things you'll notice, there's no seat stay, there's no down tube. Um, Hopefully that will increase our aerodynamics, but it causes a couple of problems. Um, first off, we needed to make the chain stay a lot thicker, and that's why you can see it's white there. We'll also add a lot of layers of carbon fiber. Um, that causes uh, stress here, and you'll notice that uh, there's an added on piece. Uh, I had it all drawn on paper and it looked fine. Once I cut it out, I realized that right here was just way too thin. So, uh, you can see that I've I've cut another piece and added it to that to make it a little bit uh, wider there. And that'll do a couple things. That'll make it a little bit stiffer and will also allow me not to have to use quite as much carbon fiber in this area, which this still gets quite a bit. Um, also, another thing, the top tube, you'll notice it's pretty wide. And um, that is also to help compensate for no, no down tube here. So um, that's the design. Uh, you can see I do everything um, on poster board. I draw it all out life size and then I glue it to some quarter inch handy board or particle board or um, hardboard I think they call it. So um, there it is. And if you want to see the other side, so you get a better idea without the white paper on there. That's what it's gonna look like. So, well, I'll explain the, uh, the process to you. All right, so check out my setup here. I've got a piece of malamine board uh, with a hole cut out and my router comes up through it. So I've also taken my template and screwed it to a piece of three quarter inch particle board. And now I'm gonna route out all the way around um, my first part of the plug. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just got done cutting out side number one. Turned out good. Uh, ran into a couple problems, but nothing that can't be fixed. Well, I'll just show you what it is real quick. Uh, right here, I forgot to adjust the height on my on my uh, router bit. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, um, that's not a big deal. They can fix that, no problem. Uh, any any problems that you have at this point, uh, you can always fix it with some bond or something later on in the in the uh, plug building stage. So. No worries. All right, so I just changed over from that straight uh, flush cutting bit to a round over bit. Now this is three quarter inch, and what I'm gonna do is this actually creates the leading edge for the bicycle, which will be a, um, that's a one and a half inch diameter half circle um, will be the leading edge of the bicycle. So I'll get you to that point and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I got both of these uh, cut out now, or routed out, um, which followed the template really well. Um, you can see this one over here, and I don't know if you can see it real well on the camera, but we've got the, the edges here uh, rounded off. Now what I've done is I've taken a pencil line, and you can see a, a few pencil marks here, and what I'm going to do is taper the back edge to uh, one inch. Right now if I was to put together, since each side is three quarters, um, it would make a one and a half inch frame, but I'm going to taper this back down to one inch. That's about the size of the wheel. So anyway, these uh, these lines are just reference points for me to be able to sand this down like I want it to be. So there you have it. Um, I will show you the bike put together here in, in a few minutes. Okay, so what I've done was I, I've finished routing this out, um, like I was talking to you about with the uh, the three quarter inch roundover bit, and then what I did was I sprayed each side with um, some Super 77 and I stuck it together. So right now, you can see the seam there. Um, this is what the bike will look like. And what I'll do now is sand it up, clean it up, and get both sides how I want them. Um, also to note, I'm gonna have to route this out. Um, the bike being an inch and a half thick, it's too thick for 
the uh, front brazon derailleur. So what I've got to do is cut this down and then we'll sand around it. So I'll use that with the, I'll, I'll make a template and then route this out. Um, you'll also notice I've got some lines drawn on here. These are reference points for me to be able to sand this because we are taking it from inch and a half. You can see on the back here, got a line there and a line there. This comes down so it's only an inch thick back here. So what happens is the air will have a controlled diffusion over to where the wheel is. So I am going to shape that and I will update you after I've sanded it and everything. Like I was telling you, um, I've got to uh, route this down a bit um, because the front derailleur can't stick out as far as this um, this seat tube sticks out. So. Um, what I've done is I put this template on here. Uh, I just use that Super 7-7 spray. It's awesome stuff because it'll pop off uh, when I'm done. So I've got a guide on this trim router and I will just follow this around. So I went ahead and routed this out and you can see it turned out pretty good. Um, that template and guide works really nice on the router so um, I took a little sandpaper to it and I might need to do a little bit more finish on it. But for the rough cut that worked out pretty good. All right, so I just got done uh, sanding, and this took about three hours to sand. I used this slim form uh, planer, and also uh, just a rubber sanding block, uh, sanding pipe. Basically, it's just a piece of PVC with uh, some sandpaper wrapped around it, and also another sanding block over there. So what I've done is I've I've tapered this down from from one and a half inches down to one inch on the back. And then up here goes from one and a half down to zero pretty much so it tapers all the way uh, this part here is where the brake mounts to you can see that how it comes up and then the seat post you can see how I've made a controlled diffusion airfoil there so um, just cleaned it up a little bit what I've got to do now is I've got to make some more chain stays to go on here to get my width to uh, 130 millimeters for the back wheel. I've also got to put uh, some um, tubing on here for the uh, headset to be able to go inside there. So um, I'll get that all worked out and and fill you in.